Hey Saber fans, Tony here from Run Sabers, and today we got another comparison video for you. If you're new to the channel, I do install, review, and compare these sabers, so definitely like, comment, subscribe. Now, today we'll be reviewing Roman Props Inception versus a OWK3 from 89 sabers. Now, I do have several other comparisons, not just between the um, OB1 Thin Necks, but also several other videos on my comparison playlist. Definitely go check it out on the channel. Um, now, if you want to see how these sabers break down, I do have a picture, which I'll show right here. Um, it's very nice. They tear down a bit differently, but if you want to know how to take these sabers apart, I do have an unboxing video for both of these sabers, which will be linked also in the description. So, this is going to be a tear down of accuracies, um, install friendliness, um, things that I picked up and missed between the two sabers, um, things I liked, things I disliked, um, and so yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so um, bottom is the Roman Props Inception, and up top we've got the 89 sabers um, OWK3. Now, we have them lined up here perfectly, I'm going to show you on this camera here um, some of the comparisons first. First up I see is weight difference, which I'll pick up to kind of let you guys know. So again, Roman Props OWK3. And overall, it, it's a very light hilt if they're not installed. This one is a bit. This one is installed, so um, it is going to be a bit heavier. But overall, um, when I first, before I even had this installed, it was a bit heavier than the Inception, and so it's it's a bit not much, not much of a difference. But you can definitely tell. Um, now, the other thing I want to point out with this camera here is the height. So I don't know how well you can see that, but this one is just a hair tighter, uh, taller, not tighter, taller. As you see. Um, and so it's just a hair taller and it makes not a terrible difference, but it does for those OB1 fans It makes a difference and so moving on so we're gonna go systematically from like bottom to top or top to bottom we'll Go top to bottom because we already start with the with the top so first thing you'll notice here is the emitters so the emitters um, first off blade plugs one is which I'll show you here one in the exception that's fully metal and there's not much shine through um, almost at all it covers the if you installed it covered it entirely and then with the uh, 89 sabers one um, it has a uh, acrylic type thing underneath it and so you get some shine through in there um, this one is more accurate the 89 sabers one is more accurate than the inceptions blade plug because they base theirs off of the master replicas that came out um, and so versus um, the Roman props one I do like, but it's um, it's just kind of metal. So um, now next up is the finish itself. That's the most evident um, change here. So the Inception itself has um, chrome plating, and it's chrome plated all around. Now, for those that don't know, most prequel lightsabers are chrome plated, um, but with Obi Wan's, it's a bit different finish when it comes to the emitter. And uh, as seen in the hero prop in Revenge of the Sith, um, this one here is is not accurate mainly because it's more it's 100% chrome like this chrome matches the um, control box graphlex clamp part and the um, pummel um, section here as well um, versus the 89 sabers has more of a brushed finish it's, it's still chrome plated but it's a lighter chrome to it it's more um, of a satin type color compared to the reflective mirror chrome that's on the control box and the pummel and so um, that's the most evident that's the thing that um, I think changes the most. You can see them side by side here a lot better, I think. Um, so yeah, Roman Props Inception, 89 Saber. So the mirror finish, which is the chrome plated here, and then the more satin color, um, not satin, it's more of a, a brush type of chrome here. And so yeah. Um, next thing you'll notice um, is the neck here. Now the neck, well I guess the sizing, we should talk about the sizing first. So the sizing with the emitter itself, each section here I'll scoot this over a bit so you get a better shot. So each sizing here is a bit different. Um, with the the biggest change that you see is that this section here, which is I think what makes it taller, is that this section here, um, which is like the um, emitter section that's the widest, um, it's a bit thinner on the inception, and I'm not sure exactly why, um, but it is just a hair um, thinner. So if you guys show you here, this section here, the, from this space to here, from before the emitter. Uh, it is a bit smaller on this inception and so if I line up the emitters correctly you can tell it's a bit taller um, so yeah not ter again not terribly a huge difference but that's probably the reason why it's um, just a hair smaller um, in height so the anodizing on the neck is a bit different so on the Roman props inception it's more of a, a kind of a bland um, candy brown or um, candy copper color which is accurate too and both are very accurate in color but the thing that that grabs me from the 89 sabers from the inception is that it's more of a gloss it reflects a bit more so you get that deeper rich colors and the shadows a bit more with the gloss than this Roman, um, Roman props inception which I'll show you again here real quick so again more gloss on the 89 sabers than the um, inception and so you got more gloss on this one and so it's a bit more evident with the light I, I, I suppose but it's also a bit darker because of it 
and so so another thing is between the Roman props and the 89 sabers oh, WK3 is the emitter section here and what is exactly connecting it. Now, um, with the 89 sabers one, it's um, threading goes directly to the emitter and directly to the copper neck, but it's very thin um, threading. And so I have a customer saber here, um, which I'll kind of I'll show you here, and they actually broke their thin neck because of it, and I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So. Here you'll see the threading that's really, really small, really, really thin. He tried to glue it, so excuse the little thick um, stuff that's kind of blocking the threading, but you kind of see where it's stripped. And of course on this section, it's right inside here, which is where your threading is, right in there. And which, when you're doing it correctly and you don't break it, it does a perfect lineup. It, it literally shows it very well. But as install goes, and as um, <laughs> swinging goes, it didn't turn out very well for this customer. Versus the Inception has a heat sink um, in the neck, and again, it breaks apart here at the copper piece, which is kind of convenient for this this showing here. But it breaks apart here, and then it also breaks apart here, which I'll have to take out the um, blade plug to show you. So you got three sections here. You got the heat sink, which I sawed um, sawed off, which because I want to put a pixel in there. They're designed to have um, a recessed blade, and so you can put this, the blade over this section. But this is what's holding it in. So you have the emitter, which actually has no way of connecting to this copper neck piece um, at all. And so um, it's kind of just static. So if you actually lost this piece or broke it or anything, you wouldn't actually be able to install your saber at all, and you'd probably have to contact Roman props. But it is a bit more sturdy when it comes to thin necks because this piece is aluminum, and it stands out um, a lot better than just say two or three threads. You know, this has almost seven, I think, seven threads versus um, this one has only had three. And so um, when it comes to, I guess, blade not blade depth necessarily, but um, thickness of the neck and sturdiness, I, I definitely give it to the Roman Props Inception um, because it has that much you know, depth in it. And so I'll put this thing back together and then move on. Just now the chamfer on the brass section here, um, of course with the teardown, like, I'll kind of mention that real quick. So in this section here, in the 89 Sabres one, this section is one piece, which is actually pretty nice for a thin neck, um, versus the Inception actually breaks apart right here, which is um, kind of nice, um, but not needed. And so the other thing that changes between these two right here is this chamfer right here. So with this one here, um, I, in my perspective, is more accurate, mainly because the Hero prop itself has more of a flat surface when it comes to this ring here, and this one has more of a, a angled chamfer, almost like a 45 degree angle. And so um, it's nice, it adds kind of some characteristic to it, but I don't believe it's accurate to what the Hero prop would, would have been. And so I'll show you again here, so the differences between this, this brass piece here. So this is more flat, and you can kind of see that, that edge, versus with this, you don't see that chamfer as much, you don't see that edge, it goes straight from that 45 degree angle down. And so um, it's a bit harder to kind of put your finger on there versus this, it's, it's, it's flat. And so, so next up, um, after this brass section here, we have the grenade section. Now, um, the one thing I noticed off the bat is that the finish is a bit different. Again, the 89 Sabres one is a bit more glossy, which pops a lot better. Um, than this one. This one has more of a um, matte type finish on it, and I don't know how well you can pick it up on the camera, so I'll, I'll do the second second view real quick. So again, 89 Saber is a bit more glossy versus Inception, not as glossy. And so you can kind of see that with um, that here, as well as the first notch into the gra grenade section here. The Inception is thicker than this one. Um, but other than that, most of the dimensions, the rest of that from there are pretty similar. And so, um, which is very nice, not much comparing there. Um, now moving on to the um, control card clamp system. Um, so with the inception here, you can take actually the section apart, which is very, very nice for crystal reveals and installing it overall because it's a lot more friendly. With the 89 Sabres one, it doesn't break apart here at all. It doesn't do anything terribly useful. So you got to kind of, with the buttons at least, um, you kind of have to wire it up and kind of shove it in there and, you know, rearrange all that jazz because you can't take it apart. Um, versus this, I can actually show you. Aha. I can take apart this section here entirely. Unscrew this guy, and it takes a part right there, breaks the grenade, and you can install it, you can have crystal reveal, you can have removal battery, um, anything there really that you wanted to. And the other cool thing is, is this might actually be a flaw to some people, but um, this section here is actually removable as well and adjustable. So if you actually threaded it, because when I got it, the threading, which I'll talk about too, um, the, when I threaded it in originally, the, the lines here were not in the correct spot. And so, um, and I'll go through that right now as well. So when I screw it in just freely, it doesn't line up exactly the way it needs to. Um, so when you have an accurate OB-1, the actual, the 
divot here, this crevice, is actually supposed to line up with the control box, which the 89 Sabres here does show. Um, it's correct, this, this grip here. With the inception, of course, you can adjust it and all that jazz, so it doesn't really matter, but off the, out of the box, um, the gap is actually right, the two gaps are actually right between the control box, and so, of course, you can adjust that, doesn't really matter, um, but yeah. Moving on to the control box itself, this is one of the things that really kind of was interesting to me. I thought they were going to be the same exact dimension. I didn't know that the, the like control box could vary <laughs> between. Um, so the the inception here is a lot thicker, um, like width wise. It's it's a bit thicker. I don't have the exact measurement, but the card was also um, ironically a bit thinner than this. And so um, and this doesn't have the inception doesn't come with a good button system at all. Right now I have double sided tape underneath it that's holding everything together, and then there's a retention screw that holds in this black piece here um, that. Which I again go through my my um, unboxing video, um, and so yeah, this this these bars here that, that are um, angled, which this is the V3 version or V2 I think of Roman Propses. So he actually made the chamfers here, which is at more accurate than it has been. Um, originally it was just flat like a, a Graflex clamp, and you could put the card underneath the Graflex clamp. And so um, props to Roman Props to for doing that. And so um, moving on to that section there. This is on 89 Sabres, it's a lot thinner. Um, the control box will sit flush because that's how they designed the buttons. There's two buttons underneath here that they designed, um, which is very, very nice. Um, it's actually a metal piece. Unlike this one, it's, I believe it's a plastic piece, um, that you kind of, that can bend. Um, and so, yeah, it's very nice, very more install friendly when it comes to the buttons, at least. Um, moving on to the Greeblies. Now this section was, was pretty cool. So, um, first off, you kind of notice that this chamfer here, um, this line here, in the Roman props is um, a bit bigger, not by much, but enough you can kind of tell the difference. And then the, of course, anodizing, which we talked about earlier on the neck piece, this is more glossy than this. This is more of just the kind of a, a bland um, anodizing. It's not as reflective. Um, the next one that's very evident is this Greebly here, the bigger one. Now with the Roman props inception, there's no finish really on it at all. It's straight from the machine. Um, it's not really glossed, it's not really anything, um, it's just, it's it's very matte, silvery, um, versus the 89 Sabres one, it's actually, um, it's a chrome plate as well, and so it's really easy to scratch it up and stuff as well, but I'll show you here on this camera here, so you can see it, so 89 Sabres, Roman props, I'll show you here on this camera as well, these tiny little greeblies, so you got the chrome plated one from 89 Sabres and the Inception, I'm not sure why he chose, um, not to chrome plate it, because he chrome plated the emitter, um, but that's just part of um, how it came. So um, so that's the little screw, the, the second Greebly. So when it comes to accuracy with the Greebly, um, the chrome plated one is technically accurate. Um, the chrome plating for the whole control box was the same, and so when it comes to the silver Greebly, it should be chrome plated to match the control box. Um, and I guess that whole Graflex clamp section. So this piece does stand out, and it's not as accurate as if it was chrome. Now you can probably chrome this um, aftermarket, so you can probably get somebody to chrome it and then, you know, screw it in. Not necessarily the screwed part, but this section here and be fine. Uh, moving on to the booster section. Um, the one thing I noticed when I um, got this inception originally is that this booster section extrudes a bit more. Um, it kind of hangs over the control box uh, just a tad, and it's not as um, detailed as the 89 Sabres. Now, the 89 Sabres has like two rivets inside, which can kind of um, extrude, and it's more flush with this control box. Um, and you can run your finger against it and it's kind of, it's very flush. With this one, it, it extrudes a bit and kind of pushes against your finger, which I'm not exactly sure how the accuracy goes on this. I assume that the, it would be kind of more flush with the control box. I'm not entirely sure on, on that one. Um, but again, this one is more glossy. The, this one, the A9 Sabres one is more glossy. The Inception is a bit more of a matte type of color. It's still glossy, just not as much. Um, moving down to the dimensions of the pommel, um, this was very similar um, in in size and shape. Um, the one thing I did notice is that the Inception kind of draws its own little conclusion with the cubes and stuff. The cubes in general on the pommel are a bit um, thinner than the ones on the 89 Sabres. Um, the 89 Sabres ones are a bit thicker, which is nice. I do like my, my pommel cubes a bit thick. but. Um, it's it's very evident. Um, I did also notice that the lines on the Inception are a bit like 
the edges are very soft. They're they're very nice, which is very nice because Roman Props did the MK1, and so when he does the pommels and stuff, it's more like the sink knob. It's not supposed to have like real tough angles, and so it's kind of nice to see that take on the episode three Obi Wan pommel um, from a guy who makes MK1s or I guess Ben Kenobi's lightsaber. Versus um, this one, I'd say is more accurate to the hero prop. It has uh, more direct angles, more sharper angles. It's not nothing you're gonna cut your hand on, but it you can feel them. You know, it's not it doesn't blend into the um, your pommel cubes. And so, yeah. Um, now, as far as the pommel caps go, the pommel cap on the Inception is a bit thicker. Again, um, it's not bad or anything. It's just it kind of extrudes a bit more than the 89 Sabres one. Um, this one looks flatter, and so it's going to lay that way. Um, this one kind of looks boxy in that sense. Um, now, both Sabres came with pommels and um, display pommels and vented pommels, so um, both have the same dimensions when you put them on. So. This one has the vented pommel, and then the other one has the display pommel. Both have the same dimensions when, um, for each saber. Um, now, when how they tear down is a bit different as well. So, um, with the 13 for the Inception, which was kind of cool, um, it has a lot more space in here than I thought originally. Um, and then with this here, you have a female threading with male threading, and it's very, very wide, which is very similar to um, Roman Props' MK1 builds as well. This whole piece like comes up off and it comes apart. Um, versus the 89 sabers here. Oh, if I can take it off. Ugh. Is a lot. It's about the same threading when it comes to the pommel. Excuse the speaker. This is installed. Um, but then when you do this pommel piece, this end cap here, they did a really interesting design here. And so it has. I'll show you on this camera here. It has a bar across, and the threading is actually not on this long loop here. It's in the middle. And so your threading, your male threading, is actually on your pommel in the middle, which is interesting to me. Um, but either way, it still gets your sound out. Both, um, both are very nice when it comes to that, at least. Um, but very interesting take on, for 89 Sabers to do that. Um, but yeah, oh, that alone, it, the weight on those pommels, 89 Sabers was a lot heavier than... Um, the Inception's pommel, that alone, I think adds the weight that I was talking about earlier, um, how the 89 Sabres one is a lot heavier than the Inception. Um, so that overall, I think, compares these two Sabres and accuracy in general. Um, definitely when it comes to accuracy and install friendliness, the OWK3 from 89 Sabres definitely takes it. Um, it's one of my favorite in my collection. Um, the Inception has a a special place in my heart because I remember when they first came out, I was really excited, um, and I remember the Gen, Gen 1s that Roman Prop made, um, Roman Props made. So again, I have, do have a special place in my heart for the Inception because it was like the prodigal son of what this came from, basically, even though they're different makers. Anyway, so price range goes. This is a, actually a blemish kit, um, which I don't think you could tell. There's not really any blemishes on it. It's basically brand new. Um, this actually came from Roman Props for 260, I think is what it ended up turning to be. And this is actually um, going to end up being, they're not for sale right now, um, but the 89 Sabres OWK3 um, was about 275 now at least. When I bought it, it was 265 So um, when they do come out again, I'm sure the price will jump up again. But, um, but yeah, um, as install friendly goes, OWK3, again, takes it, the two buttons that it comes with, the even though it doesn't break in the middle, which is kind of sucks, but um, still a lot of install friendliness. You have more blade depth on the emitter, um, even though it's a more of a fragile neck. Um, with the Inception, the retention screw is, again, in kind of in the middle of the emitter, so it kind of sucks that because you're, if you put it, you know, PCB in there, you can only use a recessed blade with this, this install, and so, um, but yeah. But overall, again, I like the 89 Sabres one. When it comes to my collection personally, I will go with the 89 Sabres one, and that's what I'll use for display and install. Um, I will have probably an install video coming out for this Inception. Um, this OWK3 is installed, and I do have an OB1 collection um, video up where it shows my whole OB1 collection, so definitely go check that out if you like this video here. I have several comparisons up as well. Again, go like and watch those. I have a whole playlist of comparisons. I hope this video was insightful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you figure out what which one you liked. Um, let me know in the comments which one you liked and why. If which one, if you had installed it, if you have one, if you own one. Um, of course, have a wonderful day, and may the force be with you.